I mean, I mean, really, really, the last year has really showed us that um, nothing is guaranteed. Yeah. Um, you think you've got a job, or you think you've got work, or you've got you've got a, 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 some stream of income. Mm -hmm. It can just end tomorrow, and mm -hmm. you are left with nothing. Mm -hmm. You are watching Stay Woke, and on this episode, we discuss the effect the last year of lockdown has had on our personal freedom. Welcome to another edition of Stay Woke, and joining me today is a DJ, a record producer, a musician, an entrepreneur, and all-round legend, Malume Bearings, DJ Tira. Welcome, 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 hello, welcome, hello, welcome. Hello, 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 hello. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? So good. How are you feeling uh, in the month of freedom? I'm feeling like um, a lot has been done, a lot has happened. Mm. Um, we come very far, 994, till now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things move slowly. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, things happen mm -hmm. like, okay, there's mm -hmm. some help that is happening, yeah. but there's still a lot of struggle and a lot of uh, a long way to go. Definitely a long way to go. And when we talk about isn't definitely freedom, I mean, last year we had lockdown for the most part of the year. What would you say were some of the things that you felt, Wuti, Ama Freedom Zami have been taken away as a human being, uh, maybe as an artist, maybe as an employer? you know, uh, during this was cut this lockdown. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy, man. Um, a lot of plans that were in motion already, that were happening, that had to change. Mm -hmm. um, the ability to be able to grow your brand, to work, to feed your family, to yeah. feed your artist. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of limitations on what yeah. you can do. Um, so actually we were just like, expected to just sit and not do anything yeah. when we've got a lot of bills to pay and a lot of things to do. So yeah. it's been really, really hectic. So yeah. you, you can even question your freedom, that yes. you still have freedom yes. to live or what. Yes. So yes. it's been really hard. Speaking about questioning your freedom, I mean, Gunama rules, obviously, Nama regulations, Jingamanji, post-COVID or post-lockdown, or would say, you know, you can't go into a public space without a mask, you know, and some people question those rules, you know, and precautions because it's like, a mask, not a student can't imagine. Just to gain, you know, what to know, would have been gained like men are going mascot among a basic parrot. We are cool, you know. So, do you maybe feel like that's just another way where it's almost as if our freedoms are kind of taken away from us in a way? It kind of just feels like you're in school and gonna have a prefect, you know. Um, you know what? Um, I can see that well, maybe the government is trying to help, trying to assist because obviously the mask is known to be helping there and there. I oh, mean, I just wish that they could do better yeah. um, and also a lot of um, money is being lost which is supposed to take care of yes, us you yes. hear that there's something missing there yeah. and we're dying of hunger yes. so it's, it's 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 hectic it is quite hectic especially in the entertainment space you know as an artist and as somebody who manages um, and employs other artists you know when you can see Uguti already before COVID it's not that easy to make mm. a lot of money in this industry especially in South Africa yeah. now we're inside COVID and like you said there's five being allocated to ama artists as relief funds and things like that, but we're not seeing lezo imali lezo. So just looking at our constitution in South Africa, you know, everybody has the right to freedom of expression, freedom of this, freedom of that. Do you think, Ke Uguti, that those things that are contained inside our constitution are a lesson to that we experience and get to live on a daily basis because it's like the constitution says this but reality is a completely different else. thing mm. yeah 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 man i mean there are some things that you think they're just there in the book just mm. to make the book look amazing holy, amazing yeah. 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 yeah um but actually the life that we're living tina and what we're expressing is something totally different yeah and mina as a person who's a leader and a person who's got a lot of artists under him mm. i'm i'm struggling mm. but people won't notice that or they won't maybe think of that because mm. i'm taputilo right to lapana but actually mm. all these artists but we are like me and I'm seeing their suffering yeah. and when someone's um, car is being taken away or yeah. repossessed in mm. terms of the house or whatever mm. I'm the one who is supposed to come and chip mm. in and see mm. how I can be able to mm. help so um, and the government is not there to, to yeah. really assist yeah. us yeah. and yeah. you know you try and apply and you think that um, you're gonna get something, then the next thing, hey, you just see money, <laughs> and then yeah, yeah, you're yeah. being neglected. Mm. Whereas, um, I mean, we deeply involved in terms of planning. Mm. Uh, we've been doing a lot of events. Um, we've been doing a lot of stuff that has been taking care of the artists. Mm -hmm. So you will think that maybe when they think of uh, supporting, you know, some artists, you will be the first person that they, you know, think of consider, and yeah. try and co mm. to consider. But mm. it's been 
to opposite. So how can we say we're free then? If we don't have, you know, if we don't have access to, to, to economic liberty and, and freedom and maybe financial freedom as black people even, you know, in South Africa, when these holidays come around, it's like, yeah, our, our forefathers fought for our freedom, etc., etc. But now it's the time for us as the youth to be able to use the resources available to us and progress ourselves and become better, you know. But it's almost as if the system is working against you because, mm, like you said, mm, there's so much mm, red tape mm, for you mm, to mm, even mm. get any kind of relief fund and then you find out in the paper tomorrow that the money was child by some brood that you don't <laughs> sure, even know sure, sure, and sure, it's yeah, like dude yeah, yeah. how do you just blow 500 million <laughs> do you know what i mean and it's like are we actually free and it's also i i think for a lot of people inside the industry it's almost as if Oh, DJ Tira is just going to do what's important for him so that he can survive, so that his family can survive, so that the people he is responsible for, their livelihoods can survive. Anything else that's happening, it's almost as if it's every man for himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, really, really, the last year has really showed us that um, nothing is guaranteed. Yeah. Um, you think you've got a job, or you think you've got work, or you've got you've got a, a, some stream of income. Mm -hmm. It can just and tomorrow and mm. you are left with nothing. Mm, mm. Uh, so as people, I think it's also important for us that we really need to try and have many revenue streams as much as possible. Yes. And also just don't rely on, I'm um, just gonna jump on stage and perform, I'm gonna get paid. Sure. No, you know, you cannot have an opportunity to, to go jump on stage and then you need to sit at home and try to do something else. Yes. So that something. That's why it's been really important that we also try to do visual events. Yes. Um, but you find that they don't pay us, they like yeah. the, live yeah, event will pay yeah. us but i think as a person it's important if you want to keep your brand alive you want to keep getting a little bit of money to be mm -hmm. active as much mm -hmm. as possible so mm -hmm. if you any hard work i was a lumber yeah. blind yeah <laughs> Ish, and our, our next question is what do you think people can do or actions that people can take to free themselves of having to worry about such a period like in the future but it almost seems like it's such a big question to ask someone. Like, how is Tira supposed to answer that question, guys? Like, he's also just a man, you know, trying to survive as well. Yeah, man, I think I, we must really be careful about our investments. Mm. Um, uh, and sometimes, um, and not try to quickly go for things that are materialistic, yes, like yeah. maybe a dope car, a nice yeah. car, whatever, yeah. you know? Mm. And try to invest on something that is really going to give you value back or mm. something that's really going to pay you. So before really taking off and yeah. be that Mr. Cool somebody, yeah. really think about investing your money into something that's going to really give you good income. Yeah. Um, so for me, it, it's like that. And also, obviously, do a, a lot of stuff. Don't try to be a jack of all trades. Yeah, you know? I see you. You yes. an MC today, yes. tomorrow you're on TV, tomorrow you're acting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we really need to try uh, and think out of the box and, yeah. and try and be active as much as possible mm. to see what can pay us. Now, speaking about people's freedoms on a fundamental level, I mean, we can't ignore the fact that we are now in Freedom Month, mm. but we're still having issues of you know, homophobia, people being killed brutally for who they want to be and their freedom to express themselves right their right to express mm -hmm. themselves mm -hmm. women you know gender-based violence is still quite a huge thing in this country so as a, a, a man living in a society like this what would you say are some of the things that you exercise in your daily life maybe not even causes that you champion but things that you do on a daily basis to make sure that the next person is at liberty to exercise their freedoms in the way that maybe you do as well i think it's important to speak out mm -hmm. um if you see something that you don't approve of and mm -hmm. something that this society doesn't improve of mm. we must be vocal about it yeah. um, whether it's our brothers or our sisters mm. um, we really need to come out and call them out and yeah. tell them that it's not right what mm -hmm. you're doing so that at least everyone should be aware of it mm. this thing of uh, being silent and you know talking behind closed doors yeah. doesn't really work mm. we really need to be more vocal mm. and also try just try to help yeah. Um, in terms of uh, going out to help where we can, mm -hmm. um, whether it's a children's centre yes, or yes. it's old age home and yes. whatever, we just need to be caring more yes. and show that we really, we really appreciate our, all the elder people. We yeah. appreciate our women. We yes. appreciate our children. Yes. So spread love more, man. I think that that will really help. And we protect them as well. Definitely. Amazing stuff. So he's not just Makoya bearings on Instagram. <laughs> he also puts it to action in his actual life. You know, I know that you. Your company does a lot of CSI work and mm. I think that your life in general is a testament to the many ways that you try to liberate Abantu 
as well, yeah. especially yeah. young yeah. people as well. Yeah. I think there's so many people in our industry who can say, with Impilo, I'm Ishinchile, DJ Tira, and that's a beautiful thing. So we salute you today at BET, DJ Tira. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. And that's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another sizzling edition of Stay Woke, done, dusted, and in the can with myself, Unomalanga the Flame, joined by the legendary DJ Tira. Have a beautiful Freedom Month. We'll see you next time. I love you all so very much. Stay with me. Bye, honey. And remember to stay woke, honeys. <laughs>